Da, la. Sit down. Good girl. Um, eight most disturbing things caught on doorbell camera footage. Uh, these are always good because this is creepy. Because you don't just have to put yourself in the position of turning on your thing and seeing some of the shit that these people see. But yeah, um, let's go. Just like she's been beat up. This footage was captured in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2023. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage, and the other was a ring doorbell camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. camera falls to the ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. After those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. For real, what is your thoughts on this? Because I don't, because, I mean, you, no one can really say, oh, the hate of people act a tough guy. Um, but I'm going to say it anyway. In all honesty, you'd have to, that would infuriate me if I was in the house and someone was doing that. Infuriate me to the point where I wouldn't not be able to go out there. Um, or at least, like, I don't know, I'd have to do something. But yeah, tell me your thoughts, or would you be like, oh, I'll ring the police. I think I'd be like, whatever are you doing? Yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are, because it, it would infuriate me to the, like, yeah. It'd be beef. Let's go. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. They noticed their doorbell camera on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. As the banging noise rang out throughout the house, they could now see what was causing it. homeowner's voice coming over the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Police were called out to the property. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. What these two men planned to do with the people inside if they had successfully broken in is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. Why would you be armed just to run off with it? That's a weapon because you're scared more than a weapon... Do you know what I mean? Because the person who was actually taking a weapon like that, why would you run away? But yeah, that's good. This clip was captured at 3 in the morning on April 9th, 2023. It happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about it. He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. She's got a gun key. homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later hey. started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. It's likely... Why wouldn't he just say 
what are you doing, love? She clearly looks like I, I. I would say initially, if you saw that face on there, it's freaky. But it obviously looks like one, she's drunk. Two, she's been beat up. But I reckon probably by her boyfriend. I'm kind of sure straight. No, that looks like someone's. Or she could have crashed. Um. Mm. Why would he? Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. Unless she thought it was her boyfriend. Maybe she thought her boyfriend had locked her out. Maybe. I don't know. It just seems like she's drunk. I don't know why he wouldn't just go to the door and go, What are you doing, love? This ain't your house. Go away. She was under the influence of something. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera itself. <laughs> After a few she minutes, pissed. she walks off and was never seen on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. Strong trying to get in the house. Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach, Florida. His home is set out in a wooded section of the city. In January of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch when he noticed one of them intently looking at something outside. The dogs suddenly start running to the left side of the camera, and that's when Walter realizes they were looking at a black bear. Oh, the shit. bear climbs over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs. Barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. He manages to push it back before he shoves a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing it from attacking again. He yells out that he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. When I had time to just sit and just stare, it all hit me. And I Not started bawling. Is it look like I'm complaining? I couldn't believe how close to death I was, and I did it for my it's dog. It's a detail. Walter oh. received minor injuries from the bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. That's unlike... That bear must have been hungry to go for them dogs like that. Because black bears aren't normally like that. And black bears is omnivore. It's not like a grizzly bear. Which is actually a kind of worse thing to be munched by. Because grizzly bear is going to kill you. Because it's going to eat you. But a black bear just bite chunks out of your way is still alive. But fair play to that man. He proper that's like he loves them dogs, I tell you. Yeah, that's right. This homeowner in Texas got a knock at their door for a DoorDash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only the homeowner had an ordered DoorDash. She was sleeping. It was only her and her nephew in the home at the time. She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. This caused her to look back at her cameras, both the footage from her doorbell camera and the one she had set up in her backyard. This no, is what she saw. I can't play. Jesus, like Scarface. The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door, claiming to be with a DoorDash from 1.20 a.m. to 2 a.m. This could be written off as a determined delivery driver that unknowingly had the wrong address. But it was the backyard nice. footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., four men got into the backyard and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. Well, frankly, they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the DoorDash delivery. But when no one answered, they resorted to trying the backyard while the fake DoorDash deliverer stayed out front as a distraction. Mm -hmm. However, fortunately, the men were Ow. unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. The four men and the woman at the front door were all seen leaving the area together in a dark colored sedan. <laughs> they were never caught by police. In June of 2019, multiple homes in Chicago got a visit from Ow. a man claiming to be an investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. Piss off now. The only problem is Not that man doesn't exist. 
He was impersonating an investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, fake badge, and fake police radio chatter. This ring camera caught him performing the act. Can you open the door? It looks about 16. doesn't answer the door, yet the man stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. Another home in the area equipped with a ring doorbell camera shows the same man. This time the homeowner does open the door. The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. However, he doesn't do this. No one knows his motives. One commenter said, I honestly believe he was testing the waters, and as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door to entering into people's homes to only God knows what next. According to recent documents, the man was never like identified. Boy. This video was captured in Kansas City. The doorbell footage shows a man appearing on the left side of the screen and climbing on the guardrail. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Inside the home was a woman and her son. The man was the woman's ex-boyfriend. He failed to remove the camera, so he left, but returned 30 minutes later. This time, he had a cloth to cover the camera. In a minute. Three minutes later, the homeowner's son ran into her room, frantic, telling her their car was on fire. Police and firefighters were called to the scene, but not before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. Marianne, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with, Abusive relationships are about power and control, and when that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. Police are currently looking for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. Ah, uh, it was that boyfriend then. That's this bad. happened in April of 2023 in a wooded section of Asheville, North Carolina. The homeowner of this house got a notification saying motion was detected in her front door. She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears on her front porch. They were tearing open a package that had recently been delivered. Inside the package was dog food, which they easily would have been able to mm. smell. Yeah. The homeowner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. take one of the two bags of dog food inside the package. 
They're seen on the right side of the screen with the bag in their mouth as they walk off. <laughs> this footage was captured at night pretty. just before 2 a.m. It shows a man ringing the doorbell to this home in Rochester, New York. Immediately after, he hides behind a parked car. He's seen crouched down, holding some kind of club in his hand, breathing heavily and sweating profusely. He nervously looks back and forth from out of the street to back at the house's front door. Maybe he's having beef. It looks like he's hiding from someone. Yes, hello, Nala. The man clearly looks to be on something. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, Nala, he walks sit away. Down. Sit. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way. Shooting start there, wasn't it? It's unclear whose voice this is. There are two main possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found, the voice being the person he was hiding from. Or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door where he then planned to do who knows what. The voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. I don't know, because it looks like he's, like, looking up the road. It looks like he's, like, preparing for something to happen, but obviously not. Because, like, he's facing that way. His body's facing that way. If he wanted to get into the house quickly, the best way is to face the door. Um, I don't know about that one. The bear one, no, that was funny. The bear's nicking the dog food. Three of them, just little, little as both bears. Just coming about, nicking people. Like, I think uh, that wouldn't bother me so much, having a package nicked by a bear, I don't think. I just think, little mischievous bear. He really wanted that food, no. Yeah. It must have smelled delicious to him. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.